so what is the Narbox? So it, it's a mobile solution for viewing, backing up, editing, and sharing HD footage from any GoPro Hero or DSLR camera. Okay. And it, it takes it takes the processing off your phone and offloads it onto this little box that you can carry with you anywhere. It also allows you to back up um, the data. But um, then you use an app on your phone to then edit that data. Okay. Um, so it's, it, it's a pretty interesting concept for not having all of the, the hardware in potentially a phone to, the, to offload a lot of that processing back to this little box. Or even just killing your battery. Yeah. So this is, so, so basically, wow. Okay. So, but you're still editing. I'm like, is it using iMovie or is it using its own editor? It's using its own editor. Okay. Okay. Hope it the looks edit- pretty darn streamlined. Hope the editor's like it's, good. It's it's it, it to me it looks like I, like an to me it looks like a step up from iMovie. Okay. Like they really took they. I feel like iMovie had to take elements from iMovie on the laptop or desktop and kind of transpose them to mobile. They, they obviously started kind of fresh with this. Right. So I feel like they were they were able to really just start from scratch and not have to worry about bringing a community that already used a product over. So is it's connecting directly to the Narbox as they're showing in this uh, in this uh, uh, thing here, and it just shares it right off into you get your share button for Instagram and, and everything there. Wow, well, it's a waterproof housing. If you're worried about that, yeah. of course the video. You know, we're talking about a GoPro, so it needs to pair with that. So you need to have it on your person while you're, you know, river rafting or whatever cool thing you get the GoPro. That's why I don't have a GoPro. I don't do enough cool stuff. Maybe you do cool things out Maybe that's it. Maybe, like, if I got a GoPro, that's what would make me go go canoeing or something, right? Um, but, uh, <laughs> no, it, it does. This looks really interesting, and uh, I could see some very interesting kind of uses for it. Um but again, it's, I mean, and when you look at the specs on it, I mean, it's there, it's a quad core 2.2 gigahertz CPU geez. with an eight with an eight core 3D GPU, four gig of RAM, built in 128 gig flash storage, um, USB three two USB three ports, SD card, micro SD card, and, and six to eight hours of continuous battery life. So. They they wedged wedged a lot of technology into to this little for a hundred and fifty bucks. Am I seeing that right? Is the standard? It's going to be two fifty, uh, but if you order it, okay. With Kickstarter. Of course, they had lower ones yeah. for uh, as low as ninety nine dollars. It looks like uh, one hundred thirty dollars. So wow, that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, they sold out a lot of those, but of course, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty impressive little device. Looking the um, uh, estimated to deliver in March of 2016. I would, the other thing we were just looking at was in February. So uh, no, this looks like this looks very interesting actually, um, and I'm I'm amazed I didn't I didn't come across it. That's that's awesome. Lowest uh, thing is oh you got a sticker pack for 20 bucks. There you go. Awesome. The Narbox. Go check out Kickstarter. It is three, three days, days to go. go. 430 thousand of its 100 thousand dollar goal. There you go. Awesome. Wow. I mean, it's, just, it's one of those like, that is perfect. I don't know what I would use it for. You know, same with the Gra- Grava, you know. I mean, the Grava is like easy. It's like, well, you know, what would I use a GoPro for? Again, I don't do anything interesting enough. You know, I'm just going to use a GoPro.